A NEW CENSUS NUMBERS RELEASED TODAY SHOW MAINE IS ONE OF TWO STATES WITH AN INCREASE IN THE RATE OF PEOPLE WITHOUT HEALTH INSURANCE BETWEEN 2012 AND 2013. WMTW NEWS 8 POLITICAL REPORTER PAUL MERRILL JOINS US NOW LIVE TO TELL US WHY THIS IS SIGNIFICANT. PAUL. TRACY, THESE NEW NUMBERS MATTER BECAUSE THOSE PUSHING TO EXPAND MEDICAID HERE IN MAINE UNDER THE AFFORDABLE CARE ACT WILL USE THIS DATA AS PROOF THAT MAINE CARE EXPANSION IS SOMETHING MAINE NEEDS. THIS HAS BEEN A HOT POLITICAL TOPIC FOR MONTHS, MOSTLY BREAKING ALONG PARTY LINES. 27 STATES AND THE DISTRICT OF COLUMBIA HAVE EXPANDED THEIR MEDICAID PROGRAMS. MAINE HASN'T. GOVERNOR LEPAGE IS THE ONLY GOVERNOR WHO HAS VETOED MEDICAID EXPANSION EFFORTS THAT HAVE BEEN PASSED BY STATE LEGISLATURES AND HE HAS DONE SO HERE FIVE TIMES. Now, Ron Pollock is the executive director of Families USA. That is a nonprofit health care advocacy group based in Washington. He was in Maine this week and gave the keynote address today at the second annual Health Care for Maine conference in Augusta. While Republicans disagree with him, Pollock says accepting federal money to expand Medicaid in Maine is a no brainer. People in Maine are actually subsidizing coverage in many states across the country, but nothing's coming back here in Maine. Maine is already the poor cousin in the nation. We already receive way more federal money back than we invest in. The new census figures come from a time period before states could expand Medicaid under the ACA. New Jersey is the other state that saw an increase in its rate of uninsured citizens during 2012 and 2013. Chris Christie, the Republican governor there, did choose to accept federal money to expand his state's Medicaid program this year. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.